I think if we're, we're going to talk about how what happens as a result of ACEs, it's important to understand that these, are, these experiences that we call ACEs tend to be really stressful, and that stress affects the way the brain develops. And one of the ways that it can affect brain development is that it makes people to tend to be more aroused and, and feel high stress and have difficulty managing their emotions, um, which, can, which can lead to a lot of different behaviors, including violent behavior. So, so the effect of ACEs are really primarily through the effect of adversity or stress on the developing brain. And so if you think of, you think of the sequence of brain development from really in the womb, but we'll, we'll start with infancy, um, the, the children's brains develop from the bottom, the lower part to the top. And early on, if people are exposed, children are exposed to stressful experiences, their brains actually adapt be, by becoming ready to be in stressful or violent experiences uh, in um, environments. Um, that can lead to being hyper-responsive to things that might seem threatening or over-responding as something that really isn't threatening. And so, so what you mentioned about um, children exposed to violence perhaps um, behaving violently later is really sort of an understandable biologic consequence of the way the brain adapts to those kind of experiences.